Hey, we give you the facts. It's not what you think. Popeye News Link. Young King. One yard. Bless. Good morning, Popeye. Grandma watch Popeye's every morning and every night. Greetings. Greetings, viewers and subscribers. So today, we are going to drive and talk. Now, coming up later, we'll be giving you the news roundup. We carried a story on Valentine's Day, February 14, and I told you that that man on your screen, his name is Santino Plummer. Santino, he's in his early 40s and he's living at Lime Tree Lane in Glendevan in the parish of St. James. Santino was arrested and charged by the police on Monday for allegedly sexually assaulting a female in her mid-twenties. It is said that he met this female on a dating site known as Tagged. A lady reached out to us and she shared her story. She is claiming that she met Santino in 2021. Now, I have distorted her voice because she doesn't want her family members or other persons in her community to know it's her. She told me she's sharing her story for awareness because she don't want another female to go through what she went through. Listen to this and remember to hit on the love button. Also, if you are watching our videos and you have not yet subscribed, hit on the subscribe button. As also, hit on the notification bell. Then click all so that whenever we drop a new video, you will be the first to be notified. Here goes. Hi, morning, morning. Yeah, man, how you do? I, 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 I hear some noise in your background there. How, how are you there? <laughs> because I'm in a little park, I'm on the road. Oh, yeah, in a, in a little park. Yeah. All right, um, all right. just keep up your voice, Dick. I'm here to record it here, but I know if you saw it out. If you saw it out. Um, okay. Santino, Paula. Santino, yeah, yeah. Ho, ho. You, you say you, you, you met him before? Yes, I did in 2021. 2021. Tell me how this tell me how this all started. Alright. Um by some mistake or another we, we exchanged phone calls and I call the wrong person then. Oh you call the wrong I person? Mean, yeah. Yes. It's like a number digit then. No oh. mistake, right? Mm hmm Anyway, we I didn't have a relationship at that time going and we start corresponding on the phone. Mm -hmm. About three months after, I was looking at jobs. I was heading to Montego Bay to um to look about that job. Anyway, I said, okay, then I'll take the same day and meet him because we didn't meet before. We only talked on the phone. I know him like a video call and saw him on the phone. Mm -hmm. All right, so that day when I decided to go to Montego Bay to look for the job and then to spoke with him. I got all up, so it was kind of late for me to reach where he was because I was planning to go back home. I didn't plan it and stay. Mm -hmm. Anyway, by the time I reached there, it was late. I went into a taxi. He spoke with the taxi man and told the taxi man where to leave me. Mm -hmm. The taxi man said, yes, he knew where and he left me there. That, so, th that is where? In, in, how about then, then one. Glen Devon? Glen Devon, what's the name again? I'll, um, what's the name again? Sometimes you get me mixed up. I think it's Lime Tree Lane, this is the name. Oh, Lime Tree Lane, yeah. okay. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Anyway, when I went there, he came downstairs and escorted me up. Describe, descri describe the house for me, describe the house. It's an upstairs and downstairs house. Which is painting, um, green. I know since lately me delete everything on my phone, trust me. Um, it changed, the, the, it had a balcony, it had a balcony where you had some, I think it's green and white. Mm-hmm. It painted. But the building is not completely finished. But other people live in there. Okay. Okay. Yes. Which he told me that he, he rented a room there. Mm -hmm. Which he he don't end in a room there. That's where he is living for a long time. When I get to understand. Okay. All right. So when I went up there, 
we were there talking. But before I came there, when I reached in Montego Bay to reach him, he asked me to buy some stuff for him. He said, because he can't reach in the town, so I buy some stuff for him. So when he come in, we give me back the money. Stuff like what? Some food stuff. Okay. I told him I couldn't buy much because I didn't have as much money because I had to have my traveling money with me. So I didn't have as much money to buy all what he said. But I bought some of the things mm -hmm. and bring it to him. Anyway, when I was there, um, we were there talking and all of that. Yes, so you were there. So what, you were now in his, in his room? Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. Because he, he, he came me upstairs by his room. Mm -hmm. what, what time of the day? What, what time of the day this was? It was about after 7, you know, because as I uh, told you, I reached there late. After seven, after, after seven, seven in the night. night. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So, was there and then we were talking and talking and talking and talking. So he said to me, "Um, Elliot, no, so we never can get to go home, but no, cause Elliot." Mm -hmm. He said, "All right, I just I go stay till the morning." Anyway, he was there asking me for sex, and I said, "No, we just come by you, even though we say it's about three months now we have him, but." I mean, I see it, she say yes, we go out sick, but me have sent in one say, if me go do the few nights, he may go out harass me and all of that. Yes. But anyway, I mean, me never resist, and, and I didn't resist because, because I look on the whole on the night, he may go do the few nights. Mm -hmm. Anyway, go ahead, finish. So, so he went tired and he went tired and you had sex. That was, you, you yes. consented to that? Yes. Okay. Alright, so we were there then and talk and to still he said to me, say, soon come but when I realized some police was down here at not on his building on the other side. Mm. And the police went into a house because I could see everything from upstairs. Mm -hmm. And the police then went over the other house. Then I heard somebody from in the same apartment where he is come out and across the people then where the police then come and harass. Mm -hmm. Anyway, because me not really know the place like that and all of that. Me, me they kind of catch me free, but me don't know where she go, I don't know what to do, so I was still there. Mm -hmm. I not, I not last Monday day until me do it up. I fall asleep because I was so tired. Because I work hard the day. And I was so tired. Mm -hmm. But when I jump up and I look at the time, it was after 12 going to 1. And I'm alone in the place. So he said, hey, so I call his phone and he said to me, he said, he too come. But when he came, he said to me, well, right now you have to come out, you know, because no, I'm not going to get to a landlord for money. And the man said, look, your gunman could shoot me, you know. And you have to go tear him up, you know. And so he said, at this time of night, you want me to get to go and I don't know the place. He said, well, I'm going to call the police. No, you can't do that. So you're 16, so you're since night. I'll kill you, woman, kill you. Mm -hmm. I'm like, all right. You know, go up and you will sign somebody for rest me. He said, you were dead. If you go up and you will, you were dead. And I like that. So I'm like, all right. I'll right. me, me burst the trust God that much in us from his feet. He mm -hmm. said, well, all right, I'm going to come out. I'm going to come out. You have to come out because you don't know if you want to come with the good man and all of that. Then he said to me, say, hey, now our friend, I'm going to make you stay with you till I'm on it. So I said, what kind of friend is that? Um, you know, and then he said, now you know, now you have to go to give some, to let me get some money in the morning. Mm -hmm. He said, really? Mm -hmm. He said, really? I'm going to start crying. I start crying. I said, oh, your boss, oh, your boss, oh. Anyway, he, he take me at the friend house. So we're the friend houses and the same. Yes. And the same apartment. Not far this, from the oh, not far. The same apartment, but next door. Yes. So he take me over to the friend and he call the friend, and the friend come out. Mm -hmm. And he say, he said to the friend, but it seems to me as if they spoke already. Yes. So he said to me, friend, say, see her, just put her up till the morning, you know. So, the friend sit down there and he said, Mommy, you're telling me to sit down now. 
Yes. Anyway, I went in, I was sitting in the room, 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 so, I was going to call you on the phone, I was going to call you on the phone, because I was going to call you some money, I was some money, I was going to call you some money, I was going to call you some money, I was going to call you some money, I was still praying on my mind, I was going to answer him until he hung up his phone, so the man came in and the man said to me, say, say, mommy, I work hard on this time, you know, so guess what, I'm going to get to sleep, so I'm going to go to my bed. I said, okay, I'm going to thank you for what you're doing for me. I said, yeah, man, you're a good man. And the man got to him bed. When the man got to him bed, because it was the same woman sitting sit down in the bed. When the man got to him bed, the man called me and he said to me, you wake up back in the night, and he said, mommy, you're all right, you can lay down if you want, you know. I said, no, man, I'm good here, so. He said, Mommy, you're not afraid to sit. I'm not sure you're going to do nothing. I'm going to sit down in the city. I'm going to fall asleep. But what wake me, the man wake up about 5 o'clock in the morning, going outside. So, me jump up at the same time. And he said, Mommy, I saw water. I'm going to catch my car. We can't have some water for the match. I'm going to do it for my day time. So, me get up at the same time. I'm going to go outside. I'm going to start. I talk with the man. He tell me to catch the water. And he said, Mommy, don't worry. I said, it's when you deal like that. I'm going to put you on a taxi. I'm going to go to your yard. And he said to me, do you have fear? I said, yeah, man, I have no fear. He said, I'm going to worry yourself. I'm going to do nothing. And the man came me to the taxi stand and put me on a taxi. When I was on the taxi, the boy called me and I said to me, oh, you're going to give me no pussy last night for me to get the money. So I said, oh, that's the way you live in. Because everybody, you do this thing to me today, you know, think that one day don't have an end. You say, oh, you know, the human trafficking also. And I realize that. Because at the same time, it seems like another woman in me come to the same night, and I said, I tell them, I'm going to come out. Because I'm going to come out, I'm going to come out, I'm going to come out, I'm going to come out. Oh. That's real hard. That's real hard when I get to find out that I live, you know, work. Oh, you, oh, you say you get, you, oh, you say you get to find out. What did you get to find out? You, how did you get to find out? Mm-hmm. Like, shoot, one guy come from Mobile. He blazed up that way. And I went there, yeah, showed the young the man the picture. I said, you know this man? Yeah? And he mm-hmm. started telling me everything about him. Mm-hmm. The man said, I knew him. He said, father used to travel. The guy, father used to travel. And all of those stuff. And they have little things and... I used to give up to him and tell me that he used to go to the farm to come back. Because he had a problem first. Yes. And he said the house where they live is the family house here. And all of this stuff in there. Oh. So, so come the man and tell me everything. Okay. Okay. And that time, so that his liberty to take people to help with me. Take mm. things from them, use them, and try to deal with them as far as I mean. All right, yeah, me talk ta- to some other females and they might tell me about promising, promising money. You ever promise him nothing about 100,000 or nothing like that? Did he ever do that? Yes. Me? Yes. Yes, he did. Yes, he did. Oh, how, how, what, what he did? Or how, how he did that? He said, he said to me, say, boy, right now, I'm trying to do one. Say what I'm doing? Scamming? Scamming, yes. Yes. Sometimes money runs, sometimes they run. But as soon as some money runs, if I want 100,000, they're going to give me. I'm yeah. more than that because I love to see him, see him, woman, go, go down, look, just, yes. and all of them, but me. Yes. In the beginning, he told me, he was talking to a lady, but the woman, Mr. Blan, and somebody in my life, so they have a breaking of me, I'll send the picture come give me and all of that. Mm. I understand, but mm. I just, you know, my phone, I delete everything over my phone, you know. Yeah. Just in the last month, I had all the information, everything, the thing in my phone. So, yeah, so, so when you were communicating with him, him, him show you his actual picture or? Yes, him show me picture from him young mm-hmm. to at his age at that time. Oh, so him show you him older pictures as well? A younger picture, yes. And plus, I spoke with him on video call because I didn't want to see who I'm talking to. Yes, yes. So I, I talked with him on video call also. Okay, okay. So that's why I didn't think then he was, you know, that type of person. 
So, when was the last time you talked to him? Something you can and I didn't talk to him again. Oh, okay. No, oh. I didn't. I didn't. Because I saw him on TikTok and all of them something. And I tried not to. Because I even block his number. I even did block it. Yes, 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 yes. So, uh, so when you see when you see me post him the other day, what, what got through your mind? You think I'm dead in dead? That no, I hear me. That boy is dead. And when we start listening, no, we think I'm dead in dead. Yeah. Because there's a lot of young people and other people also. Yes, yes, yes. Yes. And that's why I need to go to prison, man. Because if I abuse, like they couldn't abuse me, like they couldn't abuse me in a certain way. Yes. Yes. You understand? Yes. And like they couldn't do certain things to me. Mm-hmm. So. Mm-hmm. Yeah. All right, ma'am. Thanks, thanks, thanks for sharing your story. You know, and uh, we, we we just we just want people to be careful. And you I mean, yeah. people people go and listen to your story, and they're going to learn something from it. I mean, some people, you know, so some people are going to cost you, don't you? Yeah, I don't care. <laughs> oh, you don't care. <laughs> but I care I, my own the thing is, at the end of the day, if we can if we can see. It, if we can see one or two young girls, you know, that that is my what yeah. I'm interested in, you know. Yeah, that's the because of my children, they want to marry me, they want to marry me. Yes, yes. And that's one. Yes. They want to marry me, but all I can say, all these young ladies, mm. you have to be careful because a lot of wicked minded young men out there who don't want to work, want to use people to live off them to get money and food. Mm. And they use them in a them way where they want to use them. Yes, you yes. Understand? Yeah, man. Yeah, man. You have to be careful. All right. Thanks a lot. Here, yeah? thanks for sharing. Yeah, man. All right. Yeah, man. Thanks. All right.